But Anna Taylor, local climber, um, I think she's from Windermere, she is in Venezuela just now with Leo Holding, and they're doing something phenomenal to do with rock climbing. And we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, ask, her, we're gonna ask her those questions just in a minute, as long as we have. Yeah, just to explain. <laughs> It's like putting someone on the moon, this is. You think it'd be a bit easy these days. So, so Anna, local climber, and Leo Holding, one of our patrons and all-round good guys, so they're marching into a uh, Venezuelan, well, it's actually Guyana, I think, um, Tepuy, uh, called Roraima, which is actually, if, it, if anyone knows the old film, The Lost World, it was the um, plateau that those dinosaurs are supposed to be on. So, anyway, a long, long time ago, I think it's tw uh, 30 plus years ago, um, Joe Brown, Hamish McKinney's, etc. this strong team put up a route on there and they were fighting all these centipedes and all the rest of it. So anyway, the guys are out there to repeat it and they're hacking their way through the jungle, but surprisingly there's good 4G. So, <laughs> so, so what we're actually managing to do is to catch up with them as they go, but it's not quite that easy. So I'm getting them on WhatsApp uh, and we're kind of messaging back and forth furiously. So. What we will be doing is hopefully in a minute we'll get some um, slides up, a PowerPoint with some slides in the background of images that they've taken on their way in. And then we'll get Anna on, on an audio, uh, and we'll try and interview her. But it <laughs> there's, there's like a four second delay. So you get this kind of, no, you go, no, you, no, no, wait, up, and it, it goes a bit like that if you're not careful. So you have to be very sort of, sort of and also you've got to, speak into this and into that at the same time. What could possibly go wrong, Clive? Well, <laughs> it works on the base camp. <laughs> base camp can do it. So, right. Are you there, Leo? Okay, we're starting in base camp. There are two hummingbirds in the base camp tent with us dancing around. There are two pooies appearing out of the mist around us. Uh, including the massive power of Roraima right above us. It's pretty spectacular. That's fantastic. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Leo, I'll ask you the question that Chris Bonington asked earlier on. What's the weather like? <laughs> right now, the weather's okay. Rain this afternoon for the first time. Um, we're a lot higher up than where we have been. We spent a week hiking through pristine rainforest to go. We've covered almost 100 kilometers. We found the half ton of stuff that we had dropped in. We've got it all here in base, in base camp, right on the shoulder below the approach to the wall. I've just been up with Waldo and Wilkins to check the next bit, and it's terrific. <laughs> it's about 200 meters of vertical jungle, which is going to be epic to get all the stuff over. But then we're going to get stuck into some climbing. Sounds pretty much par, par, par for the course for you, I guess. Uh, is, is Anna there, Leo? I am, yes. Can you hear me? Yay! <laughs> We've got a room full of very excited people here. Just wanted to hear how you're getting on, Anna. Um, yeah, pretty good. We've, um, it took us roughly a week to get to base camp. We've been hiking for seven days. Um, the last couple of days have been a little bit more challenging. The terrain steepened quite a lot, and the track that we were on got an awful lot worse. But now we're here. It's pretty awesome. We've um, got probably some of the best views in the whole world from the base camp. And, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting on to the next bit. So how does this compare with your normal climbing holidays? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't really compare at all. Um, yeah, the jungle is quite an interesting place. You've got to be on the lookout almost constantly. There's tarantulas and all sorts of bugs everywhere. Um, just walking along a path is pretty difficult. You've got to keep an eye out for loads of logs that tend to break when you stand on them. You've got to watch out for the trees you grab onto because some of them have bites on them. Um, it's pretty wet now, it's pretty muddy. Um, yeah, pretty challenging place to be. Certainly nothing like I've experienced before. So what does the climbing look like? Um, quite hard to tell from here. We're still, well, we can see Roraima pretty well. We're still quite a long way away. We had a look through the telescope this morning, and from what we can tell, it's all pretty steep looking. 
Um, it's like a big ship prow that we're going to try and climb on. Um, incredible looking rock, like bright orange quartzite. Um, so I think once we get a bit closer, we'll be able to tell you more about the climbing. It's fantastic. So is, is Leo behaving himself? <laughs> he is so far, yes. <laughs> no, he's doing a really good job. It's incredible how he's organised all this. I wouldn't have a clue where to start. He's doing really well. And how many in the team? Um, there's six of us in the team, but we had uh, a team of local guys that was originally 13 to help us get some of our stuff to the base of the wall, and we couldn't have done it without them. They're incredible. Their knowledge of the jungle is amazing. Uh, and now that's gone down to five locals that are going to help us with the next stage, so we're now a team of 11. Fantastic. Okay, one more question. So when do you start climbing? And, and how are you going to do that? Are you go actually going to be living on the wall? Um, we're not entirely sure when we're going to start climbing right now. Um, we've still got quite a bit of approach to do, so it could take quite a few days to get all our stuff to the base of the wall. And then we're going to camp at the base of the wall and uh, start going up from there. I think we're going to come down every night until we get a little bit higher. Then we'll probably have some portal edge camps near the top. Okay, well, best of luck out there. Mind out for those centipedes and all that. And you've got a few hundred people here rooting for you. Good to speak to you, okay? Yeah, thanks for having us, making it work. Check us out. We've got loads of stuff coming out on Adam and my Instagram. Uh, check out the Burghouse site. Um, come along for the ride. There's everything to play for, but we're here for another three weeks. Great. See you guys. <laughs> Okay, I, wasn't can't, it? I can't believe that worked. I think that was so successful. We'll have our other speakers just stay in the audience and right. phone in. What do you think? <laughs> in case you're wondering, they're only four hours adrift from us. They're four hours behind. So, yeah, it's not actually that bad. It's not the middle of the night or anything. So, hmm. yeah. no. so no excuse for no, that no, delay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. Yeah,